Meghan Markle's part-time reunion with royals. King Charles sets one condition. Greetings, dear viewers, and welcome to a captivating tale that delves into the hopes and dreams of Meghan Markle as she navigates the treacherous waters of a potential part-time reunion with the royal family. Join us as we uncover the intriguing details of her plan and the conditions set by none other than King Charles himself. Welcome to today's update. To be the first to be updated about trending records and vibes, subscribe now and comment later to inspire us make videos like this for you. According to sources close to the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan is yearning for a reconciliation with the royals amidst the financial woes that she and Prince Harry are currently facing. In a strategic move to mend their strained marriage and rebuild their relationship with King Charles, Meghan envisions a unique arrangement. She desires to spend eight months of the year residing in sunny California, while dedicating the remaining time to renting an apartment at the majestic Kensington Palace. This audacious proposal, fueled by Meghan's belief in its potential to heal their fractured bonds, comes with a single condition. The insider reveals that Meghan and Harry must pledge to refrain from speaking negatively about the royal family in the future. This requirement is deemed non-negotiable, as the source insists, it would be an utter embarrassment if they were to be kicked out of the family for a second time. While Meghan's return to the United Kingdom may seem unthinkable at present, there are signs that suggest she will always have a way back. Reports emerged of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex eyeing an invitation to the UK for Christmas, and Prince Harry's warm birthday phone call with his father, the King, further fueled hope for a reunion. Meghan, too, is said to have engaged in a conversation with her father-in-law. Just as reconciliation seemed within reach, the release of Omid Scobie's explosive book, Endgame, threw a wrench into the works, shattering the couple's hopes of a harmonious reunion. The fallout from Scobie's controversial book reignited the family's anger, raising doubts about the feasibility of a reconciliation. Nevertheless, despite the current obstacles, whispers suggest that there is always a glimmer of hope for Meghan's return. In the words of Duncan Larkham, an esteemed commentator, there's always a way back. Look at Camilla. She was the most hated person in Britain, and now she's the Queen. If that's possible, anything's possible. While the prospect may seem unimaginable, the winds of change are known to blow in unexpected directions. Join us as we delve further into this enthralling saga, exploring the intricacies of Meghan Markle's desires and the challenges that lie ahead. Will she be able to navigate the stormy seas of royal reconciliation and find her way back into the embrace of the royal family?